well I'm, I'm also just a huge fan of the director harmony Korean, but okay um harmony did a lot of like weird like i don't want to call it surreal but just more or less like a like a like a take that most movie people wouldn't take because it wouldn't sell if that yeah. makes sense he's like he's he, willing to take the risk yeah like he um he wrote this film uh kids when he was 19 which is pretty much about well in in the most basic sense uh he was just writing about what kids do in new york but it wasn't just any kind of kid it was like you know the street uh skater kids mm-hmm. who were going out and do bad shit um or as people or like you know how people look down upon it as bad shit mm-hmm. but you know it's it's a very real movie you know it's a very movie it's a movie where it touches light upon not only like what these kids are doing but also like you know how it's affecting them and like you know there is uh this one there's this one character uh tilly who's um name of uh, the virgin surgeon and he's only going after um you know virgins and mm-hmm. Uh, it shows how his predatory uh, you know he's only 17 in it but it shows how his predatory like behavior is like coming is becoming an onset uh and then he has another friend casper who's um um more or less like looking up to tilly in that sort of way you know to uh, jasper uh, Ta- casper is like not really the uh um uh, like the one who gets it of the friends i guess and that's uh you know it seems like he has like kind of a jealousy thing going on with Tilly, but it's a, but anyway, it's, it's one of those things where I like watched this movie and I knew that it's like, okay, this isn't going to be a happy ending. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil the movie or anything like that, but it's, it's not really, it's not a happy ending. And for that, I enjoyed it. You know, it's like, you don't really get that in movies nowadays. It's like, you don't really just get a movie where there's just a bleak message of just like, yeah, the world's fucked. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say is almost, Obviously, happy endings are, you know, they're happy. But yeah. but I, I do like, I almost don't like that it's always a happy ending. It's always, because then you just know, like, okay, yeah. whatever fucked up scenario they're going through, ah, they'll figure it out. Yeah, this uh, is why That I, person's not going to die. They're the main character. Like, you yeah. know that ahead of time anyways. Or at least that's what I tell myself. So maybe that kind of ruins the movie. But yeah. So something like that where it actually, I haven't seen the movie, but yeah, ends maybe realistically in a not a happy situation. That would, I would enjoy that as well. Yeah. Well, I, I was I was also just like, on that subject because um i've been taking this ethics class at cal arts and that's uh um i had to write this whole like final and midterm on uh, this movie do the right thing by spike lee Mm -hmm. where that's also a movie with the same sort of message it's just uh um you know like hey look this isn't a happy ending this is a movie where the message is going to be there the message is going to be apparent it the the message of that movie being it's that you know racial racial tensions do not um solve anything unless we see the um the flaws in ourselves mm-hmm. as well uh which uh, which i thought was really powerful because it's not just directing that towards white people it's directing that towards everyone mm-hmm. um and another well i guess a, another little thing to mention about um uh just harmony Corinne in general is that like you know um the same thing with kids is that you know there was another movie that he made gummo uh with the same sort of concept of just like hey this is every this this isn't your life but this is somebody's life yeah and it's incredible like i i really i really respect it yeah, kids is it similar to because jonah hill just produced one or made what like the 90s like mid 90s oh, or something yeah. it sounds similar to that maybe even darker i haven't seen that either but i've heard about that the same kind of thing kids who have divorced parents in like San Francisco, I think, and just kind of follows their life. It's a lot of yeah. skate culture kids. Yeah. I, so, so kids is more, I, I always refer to kids as, uh, or, um, uh, mid nineties as, um, uh, the West coast kids, <laughs> um, which, um, is a little ironic because, uh, uh, Jonah Hill, I'm noting you, you ripped off kids, but, uh, <laughs> it's, um, it's something where, um, Jonah Hill did take, a lifestyle that was really different um like the skate cultures of the east coast and west coast were um different you know mm-hmm. there were similarities i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna disagree on that but mm-hmm. there were a lot of differences in the in the location mm-hmm. and location is really key oh, yeah. and um jonah hill did take upon something where he was uh directing i i well 
I don't want to say that he wasn't well versed in the whole like mid '90s skate scene of West LA, but it's you know it, is it's, it in LA or San Francisco? Oh, it's LA. Is it LA? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's it, generally that whole movie is based on actually like where I grew up um, okay. in like Santa Monica, Venice area, and so it was it was cool for me to watch a movie where like you know I not only not only got to see my friends like you know, be in this, like, big screen movie that Jonah Hill made, but it was, it was just cool to see something where, like, you know, oh, this is a culture that, you know, not a lot of people talk about, mm -hmm. and Jonah Hill did bring it to good light, so that's what I like about it. What I don't like about it is that, um, it's, like, I, I guess it's just not original, you know, like, as I mentioned, like, he ripped off kids, mm -hmm. and, you know, there. The, I'm sure there'll be people calling me out for saying that, but at the same time, I'm like, I will stand by it. No, Jonah Hill ripped off kids. I'll have to watch both of them. Uh, yeah, watch both of them back to back, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's, it's kids kinda, first. Yeah, kids first, and then mid '90s. Mid '90s is just more polished. Mid '90s. That's a show, though, right? It's not a movie. No, it's a movie. It is a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, and so like with yeah, and so like you know, you obviously have like big money behind that production as well because you have jonah hill who's like a big name actor yep. um i've also just heard a lot of like funny stories around jonah hill like there was um the singer of, of the chongs duncan he was out surfing one time in malibu and um jonah and i guess like he saw jonah hill pass the break I paddled out to him and was like hey you know i'm a big fan of mid 90s like it was cool seeing a lot of, you know the same yep. shit i just saw like you know it's cool seeing a lot of my friends like on the big screen like yep. you know I, I never would have thought they were given that opportunity and jonah hill just responds with yeah you know i used to skate in the uh, in the 90s a lot in the west side of la <laughs> Like, almost a scripted response to that question. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm sure oh, yeah, there's, like, yeah, other yeah. interviews where he just says the same exact thing. But yeah. I was just more or less like, this is a fan approaching you. You can be a little more personal, you know? <laughs> and then from when I, uh, if I'm, okay, so then he tries to go for a wave, cuts off this guy. This guy, like, crashes into him, starts yelling at Jonah Hill, this big name star. And... Jonah Hill paddles back out past the break uh, to where Duncan is, and Duncan just goes, hey, fuck that guy, you know, he's just being an asshole. And then Jonah Hill is just like, yeah, fuck that dude, you know, like, I, I, he totally just went in my way, like, you know, I, I could that wave was mine, for sure, yeah. And I was just more, like, after hearing this story, I was like, oh no, Jonah. <laughs> Jonah Hill, we need you to come on and tell your side of the story. <laughs> Please do, because I would like some explanation behind that. <laughs> It seemed like you were being rude, Jonah Hill. Don't be rude, Jonah. Don't be rude. Don't rip off kids, stop, Jonah. Stop snorting the cocaine, Jonah. <laughs> Jonah, come explain yourself. <laughs> do you want, do you want to get uncanceled, Jonah? This is how you do it. Yeah. No, if he comes on here, man, that would be... Get a, you get an email next week being yeah. like, hey, I'd like to uncancel myself. My name's Jonah Hill. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> You need to come on the show and talk. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thank you for watching that video that you just watched. Uh, if you liked any video that I have put out or, again, the one you just watched, uh, please subscribe to my channel as I have a new episode coming out every single week with new clips coming out every single week as well. Uh, and I'm not stopping. So if you enjoy this, or enjoyed this video if you enjoyed what you just listened to or anything else that you have watched from my channel in the past um i would really appreciate it if you subscribe all right thanks guys